Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into topics that enrich your relationships and enhance your personal growth. Today, we're delving into a fascinating subject that can transform the way you connect with your loved ones, the five love languages. Whether you're in a romantic relationship, a friendship, or even family bonds, understanding and speaking the right love language can truly make a world of difference. So, grab your notebooks because we're about to explore how to create stronger connections using the five love languages. The basics of love languages. To start off, let's break down what these love languages are. The concept was developed by Dr. Gary Chapman, who identified five primary ways people give and receive love. These include words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. Number 1. Words of Affirmation. Our first love language is words of affirmation. This involves using kind, uplifting words to express love and appreciation. People who resonate with this language thrive on compliments, appreciation, and verbal validation. Remember, a simple, I love you, or acknowledging their efforts can go a long way. Number 2. Acts of Service. Next up, Acts of Service. This language is all about showing your love through actions. Whether it's cooking a meal, helping with chores, or lending a hand when they need it most, these actions speak volumes. Understanding this language helps you support your loved ones in practical ways that truly matter to them. Number 3. Receiving gifts. Now, let's talk about receiving gifts. It's not about materialism, but the thought and effort behind the gift. Even small gestures can have a big impact for those who speak this love language. It's about the symbolism of the gift that shows you were thinking of them. Number 4. Quality time. Quality time, our fourth language, is all about undivided attention. Put away those distractions, phones, laptops, and truly engage. Spending meaningful time together, having deep conversations, and creating lasting memories is what matters here. Number 5. Physical touch. Lastly, we have physical touch. This love language isn't just about intimacy. It's about human connection through touch. Holding hands, hugs, and even a simple pat on the back can convey love and reassurance to those who connect through physical touch. Identifying your own and others' love languages. So, how do you figure out which love language resonates with you and your loved ones? It's all about observation and communication. Pay attention to how they express love to others and what they appreciate in return. And don't be afraid to have an open conversation about love languages. It can bring you closer together. Applying love languages in relationships. Now that we understand the languages, let's talk about applying them. It's important to speak the love language of your partner, friend, or family member. For instance, if their love language is acts of service, surprise them by taking care of tasks they find overwhelming. Or, if it's words of affirmation, make an effort to verbally express your love and appreciation. Flexibility and growth. Keep in mind that people can have more than one dominant love language and that these preferences might change over time. It's essential to remain flexible and adapt as your relationships evolve. Being willing to learn and grow together strengthens your connections. Benefits of speaking the right love language. Speaking the right love language can yield incredible benefits. It minimizes misunderstandings, enhances emotional intimacy, and fosters deeper connections. By aligning your actions with what truly makes your loved ones feel cherished, you create a strong foundation for lasting relationships. In a world where communication is essential, understanding the six love languages offers a powerful tool for creating and maintaining meaningful connections. By speaking the right language, we can foster love, appreciation, and understanding in every relationship we cherish. Remember, it's not just about saying, I love you, but showing it in a way that truly resonates. Thank you for joining us today, and until next time, keep spreading love in every language that matters. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel.